Well, hey y'all, Darla here with Growing Tropical. How's everybody been? I feel like it's been a hot minute since the last time I made a video. I think it's been uh, probably about a month. I am so sorry for that. I am still here. I am still making videos. My husband and I got this wild idea that we were gonna remodel our den. And while we, him and I do work very well together and we do most of the remodeling around here um, when it comes to things around the house, I, um, I was just like, I wasn't, we just kind of threw ourselves into it. We didn't do very much planning. And I think that's probably why it took us as, as long as what it did. But I'm happy to report that the den looks absolutely beautiful. I don't know how you guys are out there, but when it comes to remodeling, it just seems like when you take one room in your home and you are going to remodel, whether it be a bedroom, a bathroom, in our case, it was our den. I just feel like every other room in our house just falls by the wayside. I started cleaning out the den and of course I have an office in there and I had to keep that office running because it is my job. And so I started relocating it out to our front living room area. And when I started doing that, um, I was organizing everything, but I just feel like everything kind of, for lack of a better term, vomited into all the other rooms. I had stuff coming out on the back porch, stuff being shoved in my kitchen. My my office was now in my front living room. Oh, geez, it was just this mess. But again, needless to say, I am very, very happy to report that our den is officially done and I absolutely love it. But that is not what this video is about. This video is about celebrating, oh, I've got a fan blowing and blowing my hair in my mouth. This video is about celebrating fall. It is official. I believe it was September 22nd was the first official day of fall. Now I live here in South Florida. I'm the zone 10. So, you know, fall is a little bit different for us here in Florida than it is maybe somewhere up north. You guys, I, I know I, I jump on YouTube and I watch a lot of the channels that are up, you know, in the northern countries and I, I'm a little jealous because, you know, you guys are wearing the jackets and you guys can have your fires. We can't do that in, just quite yet anyway. As you see, I'm actually in a very short sleeved uh, tankless, actually, uh, not tankless, I'm in a tank top. But it doesn't stop me from really wanting to um, decorate and start bringing the indoors outdoors. We love our cabana area and that is where I am at right now. I'm under our cabana area and I transform this area um, quite a bit um, during the seasons if we if you can actually say that we have seasons. But honestly, usually about mid to late September, what I start doing is I start transforming our cabana area more uh, for the fall. I bring out blankets and of course I change out pillows. I change out, you know, for the fall months as far as the fall color and the decoration and that type of stuff. But basically what I mean um, by preparing the cabana for fall is, again, I we live out here. I mean, for from, anywhere from mid to late September, all the way through late spring, early summer, this is where we live. We have movie night. We come out here. Um, we've got a, I don't even know, the, the, the kids have like a Game Boy, Xbox, all that lovely stuff. They get out here. Um, I do play Monopoly. Uh, it's like a game. Uh, we do like a family night where we do Monopoly. That is absolutely a blast. But my point is, we have an enormous amount of uh, fun family time out here under the cabana, and we do entertain a lot more as we go into the holiday season. So I usually just, uh, you know, busy it all up out here with whatever the season is, and in this case, we are fall. And what I thought I would do is, I thought I would go ahead and just show you guys what I do to bring our living space from indoors outdoors. Just a few little tips and tricks that um, that I do to make life very comfortable out here. Um, and if you watch the beginning of this video, we actually, I, I showed some, just some decorating, you know, putting things together. I didn't want to bore you guys with just, you know, a lot of mundane stuff, you know, just decorating or whatever. But I kind of wanted to see just some highlights of some of the things that I bring out for, you know, the holiday for, um, for example, my tablecloth that's behind me and, and chair cushions. I change those type of things out. But for the most part, um, I'm just gonna take you guys around and just show you um, how we make life very comfortable um, in our outdoor space. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the camera. I'm gonna get behind the camera and I'm just gonna kind of show you guys uh, around. I kind of feel like uh, my first apartment, I'm showing my parents. Okay, this is the living room. <laughs> this is the kitchen. 
kitchen because it's all just one great big open um, open space out here. So anyway, let me go ahead and get behind the camera and point out um, and highlight just a few things that we do to make life very, very comfortable out here for ourselves. Okay, so welcome to my living room, my outdoor living room space. Um, one of the things that I think is really, really important to creating an outdoor living in space is comfort. Now, I don't consider myself to be like a fancy, fancy person. Um, I do like, you know, high-end things from time to time, but for the most part, I think comfort just comes from simple things, and that's just my own personal opinion. But I don't get like, like fancy frou-frou out here, number one, because I'm outdoors and I don't want to spend a lot, a lot of money on things that could potentially be ruined from the environment. And even though, or our atmosphere, even though we do have um, this wonderful covering, roofing over us, everything out here is still is still exposed to, you know, the elements as far as, you know, extreme heat and cool and um, mold and mildew and, you know, hot and cold and, you know, just the, the all of that type of stuff. It doesn't get direct sun and it doesn't get direct rain, but still, um, I just just don't want things, you know, I don't want to spend an enormous amount of money on, you know, a lot of things. But there are certain things that I think do require spending a little extra money on. And that was my furniture. Now that is where my husband and I, we've definitely had our share of different types of furniture, um, you know, from the, you know, the plastic, hard plastic chairs um, to, you know, like just, you know, wood chairs or whatever um, with, you know, some with cushions, some without cushions, you know, and they've all been ruined over the years. They last maybe, if we were lucky, we would go through maybe three seasons, three full seasons of, um, of furniture before it got dry rotted and it just just fell apart on us and I'm talking about outdoor swings with coverings gazebos with you know the canvas um, as well as just you know your everyday furniture outdoor furniture so anyway um, we didn't spend you know a lot a lot of money on that type of stuff but when we created this area out here one of the things that, that we talked about was we really wanted to spend, um, you know, not that we wanted to spend the money, but we really wanted to invest in good quality furniture. And this furniture out here has so far really, really been wonderful. We went to a local, um, one of our local patio, outdoor patio furniture places, and it, they just, they had everything. They had all different types of furniture, you know, custom cushions and just you name it, they had it. And so we special order this furniture. One of the things that I like so much about this furniture is it's a lightweight aluminum. It does not rust and that to me was the best of both worlds. It costs a little bit more money because of, you know, the quality of it. Um, and then of course, you know, the cushions that were on it and such. But we've had this furniture going on about five years now and it looks as good today as it did when we first purchased it. So that is one area out here that we didn't cut corners on when it came to um, the furniture. And I really wanted it to, I guess it, you, when you liken it to, you know, I liken it to, we have nice furniture in our home as well. You know, we invested in nice, comfortable furniture that hopefully will last us for many, many, many years to come. But your, your main thought was comfort. And that is definitely what it was out here for us when we were, um, when we were putting furniture out here. Now, if you look at this furniture, um, I have it covered. I am a fuddy-duddy when it comes to, you know, covering the furniture. I, when we put this furniture out here and it had all the beautiful, you know, um, uh, cushions on there, I thought, oh my gosh, the first time I spill something, I'm going to be like, crap, I can't believe I did this. And I'm going to have to scrub it. And, you know, the, this color, the, the original color is a teal color. And while it's a little bit darker, it would probably conceal, you know, some, you know, some stains, other stains, it wouldn't conceal so well. And I thought, you know, we're just going to go ahead and we're just going to cover it. So I just went and I bought some very inexpensive towels and I just covered all my furniture. Now, that's a twofold thing as far as I'm concerned. First of all, covering the furniture, protecting the cushions underneath. But number two, um, I can change my towels out seasonally, which is really nice. I can go red for Christmas. I can do this pretty spicy brown for the autumn season. I can go, well, I have, I just took off before I put these towels on. I have a teal color that matches actually the furniture out here. But what I'm saying is, I just want that, that little extra mile to protect the furniture um, as far as, um, you know, putting towels on it. And the first time, like, 
my little girl here, the first time she, you know, gets her paw prints or she goes out when it's on a rainy day and we're out here, you know, enjoying, um, you know, movies or something, she goes out there and then comes back up. When she puts her paw prints on there or anything else, I can just take those towels off, throw it right in the wash machine, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And, and then I'm not going, oh my God, my furniture's all stained and ruined. So I would highly recommend anybody that is, you know, that, that well, I shouldn't say I highly recommend it. I'm a fuddy-duddy. And anybody that's fuddy-duddy out there that is concerned about getting their furniture stained, um, their cushion stained, I would highly recommend you definitely covering your furniture. But back to uh, bringing the indoors out. Again, this area is, um, is an area of comfort, and that was my first, first and foremost. So I would definitely recommend that, you know, anybody who's creating an outdoor area, you definitely look for, you know, comfort. The second thing is, and, you know, I didn't really think much about it at the time, but as we, as my husband kept saying, we need a TV out here, we need a TV out here, I kept thinking, oh my gosh, outdoor TVs are just ridiculous as far as cost is concerned. And he goes, now we can just buy, you know, a regular TV. And that's what we did. Uh, we got it actually on a Black Friday deal. We went to Walmart and we got a TV. Let me just show you. Up here is our outdoor TV. Now we got this for just, you know, a steal actually is what we bought that TV for. And um, it is, my gosh, I think we've had that TV now for probably, uh, you know, I don't know, let's see, the furniture we probably had for about five years, the TV we've had probably all of that too. Now, I don't wanna say it too loud and jinx it, but so far, so good. And here's the thing, the worst case scenario is if for some reason that TV goes bad, it's not like a specialty TV or a, like an outdoor TV where, you know, you spend, you know, three, four thousand dollars on it. It didn't cost that much money, especially because we bought it on a, on a, you know, a Black Friday deal. So if we do have to replace it, we've definitely gotten our money's worth out of it. So, you know, I don't know if there's any of you guys out there that have actually invested in outdoor TVs, but you know, different people that we were talking to that pay the money, they were like, I would never do it again. We would definitely just buy a regular TV. Now, I think maybe something, you know, there may be a situation where, like if you have a space that's gonna be exposed to more of the direct elements, then maybe you might wanna consider something like that. I think those TVs are designed to take a little bit more of like the direct elements. But up underneath here, you know, it sits high, you know, up underneath the cabana ceiling. So it doesn't really get as far as, you know, it doesn't get any kind of rain or, you know, even when the wind blows, it's up high past any of the openings. So that, you know, as far as I'm concerned, we will always replace it with just a regular, you know, regular indoor, you know, house TV and not be concerned about spending the extra money. So we actually cut corners there. Um, let me flip the camera around and show you the dining area or what I like to call the dining area. Um, I just went to Ikea. Um, I did not spend a lot of money on this. This, um, I, I don't, honestly, I don't even remember what we paid for it, but this is really a beautiful situation. And the fact that when I want it to be just, you know, a nice, you know, for me and my family, we can just have, you know, four chairs sitting around it. We can enjoy, you know, breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever we choose to do. But when we entertain around the holidays, it's nice to be able to, to sit everybody around the table. So these actually pull up, these leaves actually, leaves actually pull up and I can sit two or actually four more chairs and have a table place setting for eight. And I love that. I told my husband, I've always wanted to do that. When we've entertained, we never really had the room in our, in our home to be able to do that. So when we had family and friends over for Thanksgiving or Christmas, it was a situation where we set up card tables and we'd have people in the living room and some people in the kitchen. And while it was always a nice time, we always had a really good time. Um, it's just nice to be able to sit down um, all together with your family. And I got my wish with that. And I'm very, very pleased um, that we did that. And like I said, um, this table and chair set came from Ikea and we've had it just as long as we've had the, the other furniture that I bought. And it didn't cost, I think it's like, um, 
I don't think it's a teak wood, but it's some type of a wood that Ikea sells. And, I, and to be honest with you, I can't even remember what it was, but I just wipe it down with, you know, a little bit of, um, I don't know, I put like a little pine saw, you know, in some water and my rag and I just wipe the chairs really good. There's an oil that you can actually purchase to put oil on to, you know, to keep it shiny and everything. I haven't really had to do that. Maybe down the road, that'll be something that I can do. But um, anyway, again, bringing the indoors out, we brought, you know, outdoor dining and I, and I just absolutely love it. So I just, you know, kind of put my little gobble gobble turkey out here, put some pumpkins out here again. Like I said, I don't get too elaborate. I try to keep things, you know, simple, but, um, and sometimes it's the simple things that are the most pretty. What I did find, and I was so, so excited, again, another really, really inexpensive find, the tablecloth that I bought um, matches these beautiful chair cushions. I got these at Walmart and they were so inexpensive. I, I just, you know, if they ruin, again, it's not a major big deal. You know, if someone spills something on them or it's a situation where, um, you know, they get a little bit of mold or mildew from being exposed to, you know, indirect elements or whatever, it's not as big of a deal when you just kind of, you know, have to discard of it and get something new when you didn't put that, that much money into it, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I also bought um, these, I, I didn't want to purchase for, I should say I didn't want to, these were like, I want to say they were like $9 and these were like $5. So I thought I can, you know, kind of e not eclectic it, but I can kind of like mismatch it a little bit, you know, and pull out, you know, the brown color in there and save a little bit of money by just paying $5 for the Walmart cushion, these Walmart cushions, as opposed to the $9. So there's always ways that you can save you know, money, whether it be going to Walmart, to the dollar store, um, all kinds of places, whether you buy it on sale. Um, and that's what I try to do. Again, I try to just pick up little finds here and there just to kind of make um, life comfortable for us. So again, this is the dining room. I'm gonna take you over behind our bar area. Now this is the bar area. Now these chairs, these bar stools that I actually have, um, did invest a little bit more money in the bar, bar chairs as well because uh, again, we wanted to have something that was going to last the duration and they're very comfortable as well. They're just a nice aluminum chair so they will not rust and I just simply wipe them down. I put a nice cushy cushion there. I think I got these if I'm not mistaken from either Walmart or there's like a common denominator here, Walmart, <laughs> but I think it was like Walmart or honestly, Y'all, I can't remember where I bought it, but I know that I did not pay a lot of money. And um, that way, again, you know, if they're exposed to the elements, it's a situation where, you know, I can, I don't know if these are machine washable. Sometimes you can put them in the machine. Um, I've done that with some of the, the $5 and $9 like cushions that I've gotten from Walmart. And sometimes the seams will tear and stuff like that. And it's just not really worth it to me. I'm not really good with the needle and thread. It's, you know, sometimes it's just, if, if I if you pin it, I'm good, you know, to do something like that. But again, um, I don't put a lot, I don't invest a lot of money, but these were very, you know, very nice and they were very cushy. And um, I got three of them, you know, for each of these chairs. Now, another space is right in here. This is my service cart. I love this. I purchased this many, many years ago from, um, I think it was like Sam's Club or something. It was another one of those, like we went in and we were looking at it and it was very expensive. And we were like, no, 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 no. We kept going back and forth as we would go and do our shopping, you know, from month to month, not month to month, but from week to week, I should say. And my husband and I went in and they had it marked like half price. So we bought it. And it is just an absolute adorable cart. It's got, it's on wheels and it locks, but it's so nice because it came with, you know, baskets. Um, here's another basket that it came with. And um, it's perfect to be able to put, you know, all your beverages and everything on when you are entertaining. And again, I think comfort, you know, when we're out here and we're doing, you know, not even just entertaining, but when we're out here and we are, you know, whether it's a movie night or, you know, whether we want to come out and have hot chocolate or whatever, I've got an area that I can, you know, set all this up on. And my family has the comforts of, you know, all the comforts of, of indoor living. So that is the focus basically of this video is just, you know, outdoor living, creating that outdoor space that just um, makes you feel comfortable, makes you want to be outdoors. Again, 
It is so hot. I have had I have a sweat mustache standing here. Of course, that sun is just glaring in. I I'm ready, can't wait for it to start setting. But um, anyway, what I, I want to do is I'm going to just kind of take you around um, a little bit. I showed you some of the highlights. You know, the living room, the dining room, uh, the bar area, and then um, I guess you could classify this as the kitchen area, I, I suppose. But um, anyway, let me show you some of the little decoration. I don't get too crazy for you know for Thanksgiving or um, I should say Thanksgiving for fall. I usually get kind of nutso, a little more nutso um, around the um, Christmas holiday where I actually bring out a Christmas tree and all that type of stuff. I try I try to be a little bit more reserved, um, you know, around the Thanksgiving holiday. But let me show you some of the cute little things uh, that I found that were really inexpensive. Before I took you guys around and showed you some of the little like fall trinkets and stuff that I put around, I really wanted to show you uh, behind the bar. I personally love the love behind the bar here because my husband, he built these cabinets that um, are below the bar here. And I got to tell you, our home is not a big home. So a lot of the things that we use out here, I just found that I did, I would talk, say to my husband, oh my gosh, honey, I don't have a place to store any of this stuff. And it just seemed like it was just like cluttery all over my porch. So God love him. He created these beautiful cabinets where, you know, we could store, you know, our liquor out here, um, you know, beer and, and Coke and ginger ale mixers, um, you know, all of my coffee pots. And um, I have a, a big coffee pot that I use to fill with water for my hot chocolate. But um, all of my, um, you know, uh, melamine dinnerware, you know, forks and knives, um, plastic wear, as well as, you know, um, you know, my regular service wear. And then, um, you know, for outdoor area. And then and also um, things like, um, you know, we have, you know, things like this. They are um, beverage dispensers and those just take up an enormous amount of room. But he was able to store, you know, all of that type of stuff under um, the bar. And I just cannot tell you what, uh, to me, that is like a luxury to have extra storage space. So that was um, something that I really wanted to show you guys because I think it's really important when you're designing an outdoor space, you're going to have, you know, things, you know, like dinnerware and um, you know uh, coffee makers and that type of stuff and you're gonna need a place to store it if you if you know you're not lucky enough to have a, a nice big home and, and I don't so um, anyway I just wanted to show make a make that point and the other thing that I wanted to show you guys I'm gonna take the camera over here and show you another thing that for us living here in South Florida is kind of a um, it would be crazy for us not to have it but let me show you what I'm talking about this big guy right here. I found this a couple of, well, gosh, he's, I've had it for about, probably about three, maybe about three, four years now I've had it. It's a port cool and you just fill it up with water. I'm gonna turn this guy around. And basically what it does is it just, um, the water comes out of here and it goes down. This whole all piece is like all wet back here. And then as it circulates, it blows out water and it not blows out water it blows out air and it's cooler air because of the water that's back here and i absolutely love it i you know when i saw it, it was kind of a costly thing and i said to my husband oh my gosh i cannot believe we're going to pay the kind of money that we're paying for this thing but you know what when this breaks i hope that they make another one like this because living again out here or living in south florida we have you know such extreme temperatures most of the year actually we we do get fine breaks here and there but having these fans all over the place are just it, it's it's integral now we don't have a mosquito population anymore because um if you actually saw my video that i did on the mosquito um the mosquito mama uh, nature's mosquito juice if you haven't seen that i'm going to pop that uh, link in the bottom of this video definitely check it out. We have not been bothered with mosquitoes like at all since we've been using that product. And that's huge. That's another huge comfort actually um, for living here in South Florida, anywhere where you get mosquitoes, which I think is pretty much everywhere. But having the comforts of, you know, fans all over the place. Another one is that my husband did was up here. We have this fan that he put. It's an oscillating fan. Actually, we found it at Lowe's. It's right up here. And he built a shelf and he set that fan up there. And I gotta tell you, that fan between the port cool that I just showed you and that fan, it just, you know, it just circulates the air up here. Of course, we the cabana is open on all ends. You know, we get a direct uh, south and then a north open, you know, crosswind that comes in here. And as we go into our fall months and our winter months, it is absolutely beautiful up here with the wind. Now, 
I, we have thin blood living here in South Florida, so obviously we break out our break out our heaters. Now it's a little too early for us to do that, but we keep those in storage. Um, but when winter time comes, we bring out. We have two beautiful. Actually, we have three of them and we bring out all three of them and we put two on the ends and we put one right in the center and you talk about warm and toasty nights behind, you know watching a movie it's like perfect with a cup of hot chocolate you can't ask for anything better but anyway before those heaters come out those fans are usually always going all the time and then one last thing before i show you some of the little trinkets around here um, is lighting Obviously, you want to make sure that you have really, really good lighting. And so what we did was it took us a couple times to figure out exactly what we wanted to do. When we first started putting lights up under the cabana, um, what we did was we had just, they were Christmas lights, I guess, just white Christmas lights. And my husband just put them all up underneath the cabana. Well, as I don't know, we had them for a couple of years up there and we just decided that we wanted to go with more of a cafe light. So that is what's around me right now. If you look at all of these lights that are here, these are all cafe lights and they go all the way around the cabana. And of course, then we've got the, the lights that overhang um, the bar up here as well. Those are just two lights that I had found. Um, I got them actually marked way down, but we found them um, at a, um, a place here locally. And um, I, we just, they were so pretty. They have that real, uh, real pretty tropical, not tropical, rattan look, um, which is tropical too, but they have, um, they're, they're rattan and they were handmade. Um, and they, so no, they don't look identical, but they are very, you know, very close to one another. So anyway, you guys, um, those are some very, um, some very, very important things when you're considering putting an outdoor space in um, is just, my, I guess I, the, the, the biggest word that I could use is comfort. Just bringing all the comforts of your home um, and putting it out, you know, bringing it outside with, it, you know, uh, furniture, um, lighting, you know, fans for coolness. Um, you know, really, you know, a, a dining area, you know, areas where you can, you know, can serve beverages. We've even talked about doing a pop, a popcorn, um, like a little popcorn station or whatever, but that's, I, I'm, I'm going to just put that up, a pin in that for right now. But um, anyway, let me show you just a couple real quick before I end this video. Let me show you just a couple of the cute little dollar store finds uh, that I found actually. And um, these are just such simple little things that we can do just to um, add a little element to your decoration. I found these cute little scarecrows. They're just little picks. And I just stuck them right down. I, had, I bought two of them, but stick them right down to my little pothos. And then of course I have another one. Um, actually this guy, he's just, um, um, I think I showed you guys on this earlier, um, the one on my table, but just another little galvanized pot. This guy's got a little owl on him, but I stuck my, um, my little plant. Now see this guy, he doesn't have um, a bottom on him. And this is what I was talking about when I water him, um, when he drains, um, you know, he'll drain right in there and won't go all over my table. But um, my, my little arrowhead plant here, and he is just real pretty. Of course, I've got another beauty up here. My daughter gripes all the time because this guy hangs right here in her hair. So she gripes at me a lot. Um, but again, over here, um, I think I picked these guys up for like $3.98 at Walmart. Just some little pumpkins. And um, my gobble gobble. Um, of course, I guess I showed you guys that. And then, of course, you know, back here again, um, my little my other little pick that I just kind of put in there that just give it a little bit of a, you know, a pop. So you guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I really enjoy putting it together. I love this time of the year, even though it's still really, really warm out. I know that fall is for us, even though it's on the calendar, fall started. It really doesn't start for us probably until next month. We'll start noticing some um, some real you know major changes. We had a little bit of a swing in our temperature um, at the beginning of this week um, before I did this video, and it lasted for like um, a day. <laughs> the mornings were maybe two days. The mornings were you know felt really nice or whatever, um, not not sweater wor weather wet worthy or anything like that, but definitely you know felt really nice. But um, it, you know just climbed right back up. But we are in store for some really really nice um, cooler temperatures our way and um, I just I wanted to share this with you guys and um, more I'm hoping it's going to just be a, of an inspiration to show you that um, living outdoors is just 
it, it's it's wonderful. I, I just can't even say enough about it. I love, especially if you're a gardener, if you are, um, and more than likely you are if you're watching my channel, and if you love your gardening space, what a beautiful way to um, enjoy it by, you know, bringing, um, you know, by, by creating an area, a living area where you're right in your landscape. And that is what I absolutely, you know, love about this space. So again, I really hope that you guys were inspired by this um, to get out and create whatever kind of comfortable living space um, that you want to do and, you know, for your liking. And because there's just so many things that, you know, that you can do from high end to low end and right in the middle. But um, anyway, if you guys are enjoying my videos, and I hope you are, I hope you give me uh, a thumbs up and um, also subscribe to the channel. So you guys, until the next video, and there will be more, I promise you. But until the next video, bye for now.